What factors influence the price of a commodity? Uh, various ones depend on the, uh, the commodity. Uh, grains, for example, uh, hugely dominated by weather, more than any other commodity. Probably 80% of the grain market movement ultimately turns out to be weather. You either do or don't get a good uh, crop dependent on the weather. Um, you know, so that's, that's uh, from that standpoint. From the uh, livestock standpoint, it's probably a profitability. Uh, you know, would be at the dominant one, and then also the consumption. Do do we uh, lose the consumer if prices up to, move up too high? If we go down too low, uh, do they consume too much? There can be policy issues. Um, regulation and policy is a big factor, I think, in price discovery these days. Uh, geopolitical tensions come into play. The global marketplace, from the standpoint of what crazy person in the world is behaving even crazier. It's uh, global economic factors. So, you know, what's happening in China matters. What's happening in Europe matters. You know, the fact that Europe is probably going to ease their monetary policy very soon absolutely affects what's happening here. And there's probably seven or eight things that you just have to be aware of at all the times. And at any one time, one of those activities can just trump everything. And just when you think you're so smart and you know what you're doing, this one goofy thing comes out of the way and then you're just humbled. Supply and demand does not buy and sell. People buy and sell. And as a, as a consequence, it's an emotional kind of a market uh, where people are making decisions based on what their beliefs are and what they think the supply and demand is rather than what those numbers really are. Well, definitely it's the demand side. You know, if you, if you have great demand, even if you've got a good supply and you have super good demand running tandem, then all of a sudden you can't afford to have any, any glitches. So that's one thing. Um, also, I would say, um, you know, psychology, just the, the trade psychology. Uh. It's numerous. I mean, there's no way to pinpoint any one thing. That's why, that's why I believe in chaos theory. You never know what that one factor is going to be. And, and usually the factor is something we don't even know. Um, if I was going to pull one out of the hat for the grain industry, it has to be weather. Weather, singing, weather sets the tone for you know, how people are trading the market. And then everything else feeds off of that. Internationally, as we export more and more of our products around the world, the international picture and what pe what are, what's grown internationally certainly affects the market. The bean market's going to be ex affected by South American production. The wheat market's going to be affected by European wheat growth, um, Russian wheat, Argentinian, Australian. So wheat's probably more of a world market than any of them. I don't know. I, I ten still tend to look at the fundamentals of the market and, and supply, demand, and, and, and uh, talk to farmers and you know, that's, again, I go back to it again and again, talking to the people with their money on the line is really, uh, really important, I think. Because they have their minds keen on what's going on, and, and they don't, and, and, and none of them like to lose money. So they're, 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 they're careful, and they're, I think they're wise, a lot of them.